Hey everyone, thank you so much for tuning in today. I know it's been a while. Um, I don't even remember the last time I actually filmed. Um, a lot has happened since then and um, one of the things that I really want to focus on this year is jumping back into my channel. I know that I keep saying that I'm going to get committed to it and it's just so hard, you know, life happens, but I'm tired of making excuses and this is just something that I really want to focus on this year. Um, so this video today is, as you can tell in my background, it's my really small IMATS haul. Uh, the beginning of January, my sister and I attend um, IMATS every year, so this year was no different. Uh, but it was a little bit different in the fact that I was very uh, selective about the products that I wanted to bring into my collection. Um, so I'm going to be hauling my very small haul and then I'm also going to be demonstrating some of the products that I did purchase. Uh, some of them I have used and I am currently really loving and some of them I have yet to use. So. This isn't really going to be like a first review any or anything like that. It's just going to be me playing with my new products. Yeah. So if you want to uh, check out my little itty bitty I'm at haul, then just stay tuned. Uh, one of the first products that I bought was um, the Grande Lash uh, Eyelash Serum. And I have been using this for about, I want to say it's going on for two weeks. I still haven't. Um, noticed a significant difference. I know it takes a little bit of time for it to for you to fully see a difference in your eyelashes. I have seen a little bit of growth so my lashes do seem a little bit longer. Um, it could just be me. I don't know. It could just be me um, making it up. So, and I've been trying, and I've been wanting to try Lash Grande for what seems forever. I just never bit the bullet on it because it is a little bit pricey. Um, but this year they were at IMATS and I was able to buy this six month um, tube of Grande Lash for $50, which is a really good deal. I think the uh, three month supply is almost, is like $65. So for six months, uh, $50 is actually a pretty good bargain. So this was one of my first purchases when I got there. Um, it was something that I am really excited about and I've been using it every night. So I can actually give you guys an update later on and, you know, let you guys know how this is, if it's worth your money. Um, if I see a big difference in my lashes, I will definitely, uh, keep repurchasing this. Uh, so this was my first item. So next, uh, Ofra Cosmetics was at IMATS this year. I don't think that they've been uh, at previous years that they've been there, but they did have a booth this year. I only bought one item from them. I have, I do have two of their highlights in their older packaging uh, that I don't use anymore and I should probably get rid of those, but um, they were my favorite. So. Um, they did repackage their, uh, their products. So this, I did buy, I end up buying a highlighter by them. And this one is Ofra Highlighter in Beverly Hills. And I have been using this and I really love it. I'm actually really obsessed with it. Um, so this is what it looks like. And what I do is I just swirl my brush all in here and... I don't know if you can even see it. There you go. So what I do is just I, I swirl my brush all up in these colors and I actually really like it for my skin tone. It's not too light. Um, it's just perfect for my skin tone. I find that sometimes um, when highlighters are too white, they just look kind of weird on my skin. It just, I don't like it. Um, so it's still really good uh, for my skin tone and it's still bright which I really love so this was uh, the second product that I bought and I think these go for I could be wrong I think these go for like $30 and they were selling these at IMATS for $10 which is such a steal so I couldn't help myself so I grabbed one of these um, I kind of wish I would have grabbed more, but my highlighter collection is kind of out of control at this point. So I'm really trying to um, 
uh, not bring that many highlighters into my collection. Two of the most uh, items or makeup products in my makeup collection are eyeshadow palettes and highlighters. Like that is my drug of choice, I would say. So I've been using this guy and I'll be using it um, when I'm demonstrating the products on my face. So this one is amazing. Uh, the next two things that I bought, one I have been, I've tried many years ago and I loved it. Another thing is uh, anything to uh, my collection that I'm recently trying. Uh, one of them is the, the Beauty Blender Cleanser Solid. So I went ahead and picked this guy up. I've used this guy previously. I really like it. I like the way that it cleans my brushes and my beauty blender. So this guy I picked up, I knew that I would like it. And this one was $13, which is a good price. Um, so yeah, this guy. And then um, one other thing that I wanted to really try was the Beauty Blender Insta Clean Waterless Sponge and Brush Cleansing Spray. I've heard really good things about this. I um, I really wanted to try it because I actually do my makeup in the car after I get to work. I get to work kind of early in the morning. In the mornings I get up really early so I don't, I'm not quite awake to do my makeup. So I've been taking this guy to clean my beauty blender um, when I get to work to do my makeup and I actually really like it and it smells like lavender which I really like. I, I mean, I could it could just be me, but it does smell like lavender, and I really love the smell of lavender. Um, so far, so good. It's worked, and um, I would recommend it. I mean, I've used it a handful of times, but I actually really like the way it cleans my Beauty Blender. I wonder if it works with brushes, too, like the solid does. Um, I'll have to try it out and see how that works, but this guy is really good. All right, so the next two uh, items I purchased from the same booth and I purchased them from Sigma. So um, one I have tried, one I have not. As you can see, it's still in the package. Uh, so for the first brush that I really was interested in was the High Cheekbone Highlighter Brush. And this is what it looks like. So it's, um, it's like, it's flat at the bottom so it's pinched at the bottom and then it tapers out at the top and uh, I like the fullness of it too. It's really good to hit the your cheekbones, the high points of your cheekbone and on your brow bone, the tip of your nose, the bridge of your nose. I've been actually using this in conjunction, in conjunction, sorry my braces, with my Ofra highlighter and I've been liking this combo. I actually really like this brush. I have other highlighting brushes but I feel like they don't grab product as well as I would like them to and I feel like this guy really does the trick. Um, I think I paid, this guy was kind of pricey. I think I paid like $16 for this brush, which Sigma is, you know, it's one of my favorite brands of brushes. I have brushes that I've purchased from them in the past. Um, these guys I bought like, I wanna say like five years ago and there's dust everywhere. <laughs> Um, I bought like five or six years ago and they're still going strong so I know that I can count on Sigma to um, make really good products so I didn't mind spending the $16 on this brush. The next brush that I purchased was their, um, their EO6 winged liner um, brush. It's this tiny, 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 I don't know if you can see it, little winged uh, winged eyeliner brush and the reason I bought this was to do my eyebrows. I had seen um, a video by um, I think her name is Mackenzie on YouTube and she uses this little brush to draw in uh, hair like strokes at the uh, start of the brow to make it look really natural with pomade. So I got it in my head that I needed to try it. Um, this guy was $11, which again is a little pricey for me, but um, I could justify it. I'm excited to use this and I still have yet to use it, but um, who knows, maybe it might end up being one of my favorites for my brows. 
The last and final product that I bought was uh, something that I have been wanting to try but I just couldn't justify the price of it. It was too expensive and this is a pretty new um, eyeshadow palette to the um, market. It, I feel like it came out in December. Maybe the beginning of December. I could be wrong but I just can justify spending that much money on it. I think it normally goes for like $65. And that is the Huda Beauty New Nude Palette. Um, I had been wanting to try this palette. Um, I just, like I said, I couldn't justify spending the money, but they had it at IMAT for $39. So I ended up picking it up. And I have one other Huda Beauty palette that's this big. I have the Desert Dust palette that was gifted by my sister to me. And then I have um i have two of her small palettes i have the huda beauty amethyst obsessions and i have the huda Be the huda beauty warm browns obsession so um i definitely love her eyeshadow formula i think it's really smooth and creamy and it blends out really well which i really like um, so I'm excited to use this for the first time here with you guys. Um, so if you want to uh, see me uh, try some of these products and just stick around. Alrighty guys, so I brought you in closer to my face. I already have um, some CC cream on. I'm using the It Cosmetics CC cream. I already have my brows on. I'm just using the Benefit... Uh, powder I don't know what it's called I already have my lippy on which is um, NYX cosmetics soft-spoken which is just one of my well-loved lip products and then I do have bronzer blush on uh, and concealer underneath my eyes um, so yeah so let's go uh, I usually uh, do my eyes last which is really weird I don't know why I do that um, so I'm going to go ahead and um, use, um, use the Ulfa blush in Beverly Hills with my um, highlighter brush that I just hauled. Um, so what I do, like I was saying, I just go ahead and um, swirl my brush in. I'm sorry, I'm going to try my best to like not block the um, camera <laughs> with my mirror so I like to just place my highlight just on the uh, high points of my face so on the tops of my cheeks and above my eyebrow my brow um, sometimes I'll even go up in here up underneath my brow to just kind of um, highlight that area so Ooh, I love that. So again, I'm going to go on in here. Just, I am, I love my highlight. So sometimes I go a little overboard, but I mean, what you going to do? And I'm sorry if my eyes, my eye is really red because I've been having really bad allergies. I'm sorry about that. Uh, I'll also go ahead and highlight the tip of my nose and I'll do I already have my lip on but I can highlight my cupid's bow and then I like to take a little bit on just kind of in between my brows and then a little bit on the bridge of my nose and sometimes a little bit on my chin sorry I'm, I'm trying to figure out my my um filming space uh, my husband and i moved so our apartment is really small um i don't have as much space to kind of set up my camera and my light um so i know my background's a little bit dark at the moment i'm gonna try and see if i can get some lighting for back there but um let's see so i'm extra and i just like i love highlight i just go in just uh, keep adding highlight. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyelids. I have just been using the e.l.f. Um, eyelid primer. I like it, it works, it does the job. So what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and put some on my lid. 
and then I just go in with my finger and just tap it out. I've been finding that my eyelids have been really dry now, but um, when I was like in my early 20s, I want to say my eyelids were so oily, like I couldn't keep any product on my eyelids because it would just like just disappear because my eyelids were so oily and I find that now as I'm getting a little bit older um, my eyelids are super dry <laughs> all right um, so I what I like to do is I usually go in and set my my uh, primer with a nude colored shadow um, and then actually I want to show you the palette real quick so <clears throat> this is what the palette looks like it's really beautiful I really like um, how it's like cool toned I like this this part right here if I cover that up I don't know I like how cool did it how cool toned it is um, they I think this might be too this color called bear might be too light for me and this might be too peachy but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and dip in between both and um, <clears throat> try and make a color that's kind of close to my skin tone and I'm just taking a um, real techniques this is the multitasking eye brush so I'm gonna go ahead and dip into two and wow they're really powdery Jesus they're really powdery and then I'm gonna go ahead and set my primer my eyelid primer with this <clears throat> I don't know if you can tell but they're super powdery geez there's like powder flying everywhere um, so I'll go ahead and set that <clears throat> and then I want to show you on the palette I don't know can you see can you see how this shade is super powdery like that's crazy wow I I was not expecting that Okay, so I have my uh, eyeshadow primer um, already set. So I am going to go ahead and start with a crease color. I'm going to go ahead and start with the color Secret right here. And I'm going to uh, take that same brush, that Real Techniques brush, brush that I set my, uh, eye, my eyelid primer with. And just gonna tap off the excess and then I'm gonna go ahead and start placing that color in the crease so far so good I like the colors I really like this palette um, I like that it's cool toned and I like the the pinks in it the the matte pinks is what really attracted me to this palette uh, go in with the same brush that I laid down secret with and then I'm going to go into the shade tickle which is this one this one right here it's pretty it's a pretty uh, mauvey mid mauvey shade um, so I'm going to go in that and then I'm just going to um, darken up the, the outer V a little bit, although I think it might be too close to secret in tone that they'll just probably blend in together, but... There we go. And I'm so sorry if I keep looking away, I just... I'm blind and I need to see like up close <laughs> what I'm doing. 
Um, I do want, I'm going to keep this look real simple. Um, so I've already done Secret and Tickle in, um, as my transition and my outer V. And then um, I'm going to go ahead and just jump into the lid portion. I want to see, I think, hmm, I want to use these cool pearl looking ones. That one, I, it's either between this one, which is called Fantasy or Daydream. I think, let me swatch it and see. I'm gonna go in with Daydream. Um, and what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take a flat packing brush like this. This one's by Morphe, it's the M421. And I'm just gonna take uh, like a setting spray. I'm just using my Mario Badescu um, rose water. And I'm gonna go ahead and spray my brush. And then I'm going to take the shade Daydream and just go into it. Just pack it on. And then I'm going to pack it onto the mobile lid. And it's actually not doing a very good job. So, hmm. Let's use our fingers actually. So I'm just gonna go into that shade with my finger and <laughs> I'm just gonna pack that color on with my finger and see how that works. It's working a lot better. I'm getting more payoff. But it's so chunky, it's like flaking off of my finger as I try and pat it in. I'm just going to pack some more on. Okay, so I learned that finger works a lot better than brush. And then I'm just going to go in and just kind of soften up the edges on that. So I'm going to go into the shade Spaint. It's this pretty, uh, it's like a purple, like a... It's not medium. Well, I guess it could be considered medium, but it's it's still kind of dark. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put that in the outer corner. So I'm just going to grab that and just see how that, that works out. I'm just patting that color, just bringing it up a little bit. really pretty okay I'm really excited <laughs> and then I'm just gonna take a brush just with whatever's left over and just um, carefully just blur out any lines any harsh lines all right so I went off camera and did my other eye um, this is what the look came out to be um, I don't do any liner. I just went ahead and just curled my lashes and then did my lash blast. Um, and this is what the final look came out to be. I actually really like the colors. Um, and I totally, I'm such a dummy. This is how bad of a YouTuber I am. <laughs> I get all nervous and flustered. So I remember how I was having a hard time getting the, um, the shade Daydream on. It's because I'm supposed to use Concealed, which is like a primer slash um, concealer. And I totally didn't do it. And I totally didn't realize until after when I was doing my second, I was like, wait. <sighs> All right, but... This isn't a review or anything like that. This is just me genuinely trying out these products. Um, I really like the look, it's pretty, and I'm sorry if I am super rusty. I um, I was finally, I think, getting to a point where I was more comfortable in front of the camera, and now I'm just like this awkward, like, uh, like 
like a little baby newborn horse that just doesn't know how to use its legs. That's how I feel, but um, hey, I'm just keeping it real, okay? Um, thanks, you guys, for sticking around, um, and let me know what you think. Let me know if you went to IMATS and what you got and if you spent a lot of money. Uh, all right, guys, thank you so much for watching and stick around, and I'll see you soon. Bye.